morning everyone welcome to my 27th day of me being a senior um, sorry if I'm a little bit quiet as usual I have somebody right next to me and I want to be as quiet as possible but uh, I'll keep this short and simple so basically algebra 2 had a project due today I'm officially finished with it. I just need some time to show the teacher if I did it wrong or did it right. I have a Friday poster that I have to do on Friday. Well, I wouldn't call it a Friday poster. It's the pro the poster specifically is due on Friday in American government. Um, about uh, the amendment, I have the 17th amendment since uh, my seat had 17 on it. Don't know why. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's basically pretty much it. Um, there's nothing really important that happened yesterday, except for the fact that I was able to get a lot of work done than usual. I wasn't slacking off. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of something different today. I'm gonna record what I'm doing in each class, first English 4, then American Government, then Strat Success, and finally Algebra 2. And today's Tuesday, like any other day, I have to stay behind for tutoring, so I will definitely record the aftermath of what's that, what it's like to stay behind during school hours. Um, but as you can see right now, the bus isn't here yet. Uh, normally, the bus is all the way down that uh, road. And uh, as you can see right here, I'm actually outside recording this video. Standing next to the stop sign, waiting for the bus. I got it here out. I got it. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, I was here early because I got up late, so I had to quickly get my stuff prepared. But yeah, just waiting on the bus, casually waiting. Uh, really had nothing else to say. A few more days left until my birthday, 29th of September, which is going to be on a Friday, so I can't wait. So basically, I get off of school, and then I get to relax throughout the day. And then my mom's birthday is after mine. So that's good. She gets to uh, go to the khaki ball with some of her sailors. Well, her, wor her work employees is what she likes to call it. Is what she likes to call it. Um, but yeah, with that out of the way... I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully the bus comes. And hopefully uh, we don't have to sit out here longer than we have to. Because it's literally 8.23. The bus has never gotten this late. But yeah. Talk to you guys later. Took the bus long enough. It's literally 8.25. It's never been this late in a while. What I mean by a while, I mean like, <laughs> never. So this is the first time it's ever been this late. Hopefully we're not late to school.
anybody struggling with a positive? Let me help you. Once you get the hang of it, it gets easy. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. about the threat posed by witches to believe that a group of witches had tried to kill him by drowning him while he was at sea. A curse echoed by the first witch. So Shakespeare was just trying to give his honor to the king by doing that. Thank you, Tyrell, by talking about that. During his reign, of thousands of people in Scotland were put on trial for witchcraft. In 1604, under his rule, the king of England and Wales, witchcraft was made a capital offense, meaning that anyone who was found guilty of being a witch should not be one. Yeah, see if I have a personal position. What kind of Can you interrupt quickly, please? Hey. Thank you. Your message. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. Huh? Uh, this young man just. Uh, Join me in the faculty men's room, uh, who I told him to leave, and now he won't. Hello, Sunshine. It's Tuesday, September 26th. Let's start with a shout out to all of our teachers out there today. Thank you for uplifting, informing, and inspiring all of us. Students, go on and give a fist bump, a handshake, or a high five to your teacher today. Let them know you appreciate them. Welcome to the best 10 minutes in news, where I give you the what, letting you decide what to think. I'm Coy Wire. This is CNN 10, and we start with the historic writer strike. After 146 days, the Writers Guild of America, or WGA, has reached a tentative agreement after marathon negotiations with the major film and television companies. This should help pave the way to end this historic work stoppage for the writers, at least. As for the Actors Union, well, it represents about 160,000 actors, and they're still on strike. Some shows could be back up and running soon, but as for some of your favorites, well, CNN media critic Brian Lowry has more. When is Hollywood going to be able to get back to work? What productions will return? And what can't return? Because the actors, of course, are still on strike. Right. This is going to happen in stages. So uh, some of the talk shows, which were already talking about coming back uh, without writers, uh, will be back up and running fairly quickly. Things like Drew Barrymore's show. Uh, Variety is reporting that the late night shows, uh, Colbert, Kimmel, Fallon, could be back up and running in early October. And then it's gonna be a matter of time. You're gonna need the actors. The actors will likely follow the template that the writers negotiated, but they have some issues that are unique to them. Um, so the writers will have, the actors will have to get their deal done 
Uh, I think before you get wholesale the script of production back to work, it's going to be several weeks, and um, and then you start to run into the holidays. So we really don't know what's happening. 10-second trivia. Which band has the longest-running fan club? Rolling Stones, Nirvana, Queen, or U2? Guinness Book of World Records says it's the band Queen that has the longest official club. It started in 1970, still going strong. We will, we will rock you now with some space news with quite the rock band connection. NASA successfully landed samples from the surface of an asteroid back here on Earth. The samples originally came from the asteroid Bennu and were collected back in 2020 by the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft while on a continuing mission to explore new asteroids. NASA will share more details about the sample on October 11th. Now, what does Queen's song, We Are The Champions, have to do with all this, my friends? Well, the guitarist for the classic rock band, Brian May, is an astrophysicist and a team member for Mission OSIRIS-REx. That stands for Origins Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security Regolith Explorer. Whew. CNN International Correspondent Michael Holmes will now come at us with some more meteor details about this story. More than seven years ago, NASA set out on a mission to visit an asteroid, collect samples, and return them to Earth. It took more than two years for OSIRIS-REx to reach the asteroid named Bennu, which is nearly 500 meters in diameter, roughly the height of the Empire State Building. It circled Bennu for more than two years and investigated an asteroid named Apophis. Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Karen Benzema. Some of the game's biggest names now playing their football in a league that until last year, many internationally had never heard of, the Saudi Pro League. But why is it happening? Barcelona's president, Joan Laporta, has claimed there are no sporting reasons for players to make the switch to Saudi. The SPL is a league without the traditional history, playing prestige or status behind its silverware. According to stats company Okta, it's a league ranked only 36th best in the world. When a then 37-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo moved to Al Nasser, there were suggestions he saw it as something of a new luxurious retirement destination, but he says he is determined to help it become one of the best domestic competitions in the world. And the arrival of the likes of Neymar, Benzema, Ruben Neves and Roberto Firmino is a sure sign of intent. Saudi Arabia has the money to sign any player it wants if the players want to move there. It's a league without the financial fair play regulations imposed on European clubs with reports of Ronaldo, Neymar and Benzema earning well over $100 million a year. Previously, clubs in the Saudi League have been owned by the country's Ministry of Sport, but recently there's been a move to privatise several of them as part of a government initiative. The Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund, known as the Public Investment Fund, or PIF, has taken control of the league's four most powerful teams, Al Nasser, Al Ittihad, Al Halal and Al Pali. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is chair of the PIF, which has an estimated value of more than $776 billion in assets, according to its most recent filing. Critics like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International have accused Saudi Arabia of a calculated sports washing campaign and focusing on football to quote, obscure its extremely poor human rights record and its anti-LGBTQ plus stance. But Saudi is a country that says it's been looking to diversify its economy away from oil and has seen the value of sport, particularly with its benefits of attracting new tourism and keeping a relatively young population happy. In an interview with Fox News, Prince Bin Salman said he doesn't care if people call what the country is doing sports washing, as long as it grows his GDP. 
and attracting players is just the start. If this is about putting Saudi Arabia on the map, there's no better way of doing that than playing host to the biggest and best sporting event on the planet. A World Cup bid is reportedly expected for 2034. Let me know if you've heard this fantastic story, getting a 10 out of 10, it's official. A lungfish named Methuselah has garnered the record for the oldest living fish in captivity. The scaly one was brought to San Francisco's Steinhardt Aquarium in 1938, and researchers say Methuselah could be a centenarian. That's 100 years old. And get this, caretakers at the aquarium say Methuselah likes belly rubs. Fish are smart because they swim in schools. Thanks for tuning in today, my sophisticated friends, especially my phenomenal, or feathery friends rather, in Stanford, Kentucky, Eagles of Lincoln County Middle School. This is your moment, so own it. Thanks for subscribing and commenting on our CNN 10 YouTube channel for your shout out today. Shine bright, y'all. You never know when or how, but you can be the light that someone needs today. I'm Koi, like the fish, but spelled differently, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Allsbrook. And I'm Cadet Staff Sergeant Evo. From Team Zero to Sea, and these are your announcements. See a school counselor during all lunches at the cafeteria on Wednesdays to answer questions about scholarships, GPAs, sign up for events, and more. Seniors and parents, please go to Stratford website to schedule your IDP meeting with your counselor during the month of September. All seniors need, will need to bring a copy of their birth certificate to the IDP meeting to ensure accuracy of your name spelling on your SC diploma. Senior board will be meeting in room 231 every Thursday at 8.20 a.m. All seniors are welcome to join and participate. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Gresh in room 231. Hola Stratford, we the Hispanic Heritage Group are delighted to announce that we'll be hosting an interest meeting on October 5th, right after school in room 527. Everyone is welcome to join us as we celebrate and share our rich cultural heritage. Hola Stratford, nosotros el grupo de herencia hispana estamos encantados de anunciar que estaremos organizando una reunión de interés el 5 de octubre, después de la escuela en el salón 527. Todos son bienvenidos mientras celebramos y compartimos nuestra hermosa herencia cultural. Pride Club will, be, will meet Wednesday, September 27th after school in the Media Center. Members are reminded to submit shirt ideas by Friday. Are you applying to Berkeley Middle College, Triad Technical College's Youth Apprenticeship Program, Triad Tech, or a rising senior planning on taking dual credit classes next year? If your answer is yes, please check the School Counseling Schoology page for information regarding the active blizzard tests being given here on October 31st. The deadline to sign up is October 18th. Unified Knights will have their first meeting in the Media Center today from 4 to 5 p.m. DECO will be meeting on Wednesday, September 27th at room 217 after school. See Ms. Bryant in 217 or Ms. Stevens in 215 if you have any questions. The Chess Club will be meeting after school this Wednesday in room 206A. All night to welcome. Senior Beta will be selling donuts in the canteen on Wednesday, September 27th during all four lunches. Glazed donuts are $125 each for $14 for a box. Specialty donuts are $150 each for $16 for a box. Have a great day and good night! So we are not right now having a fire drill. Was not expecting today to have one. As you can see, there's a lot of people outside right now. Put this around your next set. So normally a fire drill like this will end in like a few minutes. Okay, there's a so difference in between. Finally go back inside. However, fact is that we Never mind. I thought this was a fire drill. Never mind.
I congratulate you. <laughs> Tyler, why do you have just a gallon of water? I'm thirsty. So apparently we need a fire. Oh wait, no, never mind. The fire truck is going somewhere else. But uh, la <clears throat> I thought the fire truck was coming to us because literally the fire department is right next to the school. But either way, there's literally no internet in the school, so we weren't able to do a lot of work in strat success, which is fine, because hopefully this problem will be taken care of in a minute with the internet issue. But until then, we're going to be outside for a few minutes. Help, because I didn't want to... I honestly thought we were going. In. I thought I honestly thought we were going home. Man, this blows. The oh, fuck? Hello everyone, as you can see, yes I'm still in the school, but I am done with tutoring. Now, I am going to meet my mom in the car, and just tell her hello. But yes, the reason why I'm in the bathroom I had to take a piss. <laughs> so normal when you say that. Hello, as you can see, I am still at school waiting for my mother to come uh, hold on let me just clean this lens on this okay that's a little better anywho as you can see i am still stuck at this school my mom has not come yet uh i tried to call her but due to the internet at the school still being down and all I wasn't able to make any calls, so I have to wait it out. I have, I basically have two options at this point. I can either one, wait it out and hopefully find her coming to the school, or two, buy an Uber and go home. Because frankly, as me being unpatient as I am, normally I tend to lose patience. My mind is focused and about to focus on option two. But I, 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 I tend to get worried because what if I buy the Uber now and then she's already on her way to the school? So that wouldn't really make sense. Either way, I'll still wait until she gets, home, gets here so I can finally go home because, man, I... I, I really don't feel like staying here. Oh, also, 
Here's the banner of what the school is. Stratford High School. Ah, man, this is... I've never waited this long for my mom to pick me up. Oh, and this is my book bag and all. As you can see, I'm using my computer, or so to speak, Chromebook, to charge up my headphones. That's the case. So yeah, I'll inform you guys on when my mom gets here. Hopefully it's not all night, and if she's not here by then, like, I'll give her, like, I don't know, like, 10 or 15 minutes. I'm just, just going to get an Uber. It's not that hard. Simple, actually. But, yeah, I will inform you guys later. Peace. Hello, guys. So, apparently, my mom was been here at the school, like, around, like, 5 o'clock. So, I guess you could say I waited out there for clearly nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now we're busy in traffic. I would drive, but my mom already called Dibs on the car. Or she was already inside the car before I got to drive. But yeah, she's driving today. She loves driving. And so do I. I will inform you guys once we make it back home. Then he talking about some. This is what my mom made for dinner for me. Excellent cooking skills have increased. Even though sometimes eh, she always burns the food a little bit. I ain't never burned nothing, so don't go there. Yes, you do. Okay, we well, ain't gotta eat none of it. How about that? Uh, uh I'll see you guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. It is now nine thirty-seven. Don't mind this little rag on my hair, on my head, not hair. Speaking of hair, since it's tied back, I have to put this on to keep it put in place because, well, I'm gonna need to have this little design for. September 29th. My birthday. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching today. Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday, if I may add. There's Marvelous Monday. Terrific Tuesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Hmm. I haven't figured one out for Thursday. Oh, thankful Thursday. And, of course, Friday. Fantastic Friday, which is going to be one of the best Fridays because, like I already said, it, it's your boy's birthday. Your, your boy's birthday. Your boy's about to turn 18. Can you believe that? I, I still, to this day, look back at how far I've came in this world. Like, it, it, it comes to mind. It comes to everyone, every male and female's teen life. Like, Wow, I can't believe I made it this far in life and now turning 17 to 18, just looking back how far I came with a nice working family. It, it means the world to me. My mom, my father, everyone that's helped me get here as a senior. And soon, very soon, it, it, look, 180 days can go like that soon just graduate I, I still to this day just think about how what what I'm gonna plan on doing in the future but that's something for another time I'm I'm focused on now I'm focused on today this dropped smacked it anywho enough of me blabbing thank you guys so much for watching this terrific Tuesday um, tomorrow is Smash Club, but my mom is going to the Khaki Ball, which she will be here for Wednesday and Thursday. So, I have the whole house to myself. I'm feeling pretty great today, so, uh, she will be here tomorrow for me.
which is fine either way. But this is the third week, well, no, third day of Smash Club for tomorrow. And of course, you already know, I'm going to have my boy Mr. Sora record some clips of something different. And of course, Guitar Hero. I cannot, I cannot wait. I swear, I, wa I wonder if they, someone did bring, was going to bring to uh, Guitar Hero tomorrow. I, I cannot wait for that moment. But uh, with all that being said, see you guys tomorrow.